Good afternoon, folks. Just walking back from checking my mail, and I've got a warning for you. You should probably avoid flutters. What? Is that some new vector of the coronavirus? What in the world are you talking about, Russ? Relax, folks. A flutter is not going to land you in quarantine, but it could increase the postage cost of your direct mail campaign by as much as 40%. And yikes, that hurts. So, what is a flutter? Simply put, it's a mail piece that's overall dimensions fit within the postal parameters for letters, but because of the address orientation, it's shifted into the higher cost postage for flats. Flats plus letters equals flutters. So what are the maximum dimensions of a letter size card or envelope? Well, the postal regs tell us that it's six and an eighth by 11 and a half inches. However, the regs also specify that the width is defined as being parallel to the orientation of the address on the piece. This is where the trouble lies. You may think the piece qualifies for the less expensive letter rates, but if it's flipped on its side because of the address orientation, suddenly it exceeds those maximums. Bam, now it's categorized as a flat and mails at the higher postage rate. Now perhaps your marketing team makes the case that printing the piece vertically, where it's taller than it is wide, makes sense from a visual attention-getting perspective. And that could be true. However, when you factor in the potentially 40% higher cost of postage, are you still getting the return, the target returns that you want? It's all about the ROI, folks. I'm Russ Louch, your Mail Geek at ProList, where we're always thinking about your direct marketing, even flutters. Let me know how it can help.